Let's talk about my newborn must-haves as well as some things I regret purchasing. Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel for another video. I am going to be sharing with you my newborn must-haves. So the things that I absolutely cannot live without for the newborn stage. And as I was making this list, I was realizing that I was comparing it to a lot of things that I have regretted purchasing, things that did not work for me, things that I want to spare you from. <laughs> I will let you know here that none of this is sponsored. And if I, do not like something that you absolutely swear by, then I'm sorry. I'm just sharing my opinion. I hope you don't get offended. Um, I like that I can actually just share with you how I feel about certain things. And if you are like me and have a similar personality and likes and dislikes, then you might feel the same way. You know I love making lists and I have a lot on here to share with you guys. But before we get into it, please make sure you're subscribed if you enjoy lifestyle and mommy sort of videos. I make them here on my channel every week. And please turn on those channel notifications notifications so that you don't miss when I post a new video. All right, let's get started. I am going to share with you my regrets. So the things that I do not like, things that I feel are a waste of money, things I wish I hadn't spent my money on, and then I'm going to be sharing their newborn must-have counterparts. So the first regret that I have is too many clothes. By clothes, I actually mean too many clothes that are fancy, complicated, difficult to dress your baby in. Now, there are the occasion, like when you're bringing your baby to you know, meet your friends at church for the first time, you might wanna put on a really cute outfit, but really the only thing that you need and my number one newborn must have are sleepers. Let's face it, babies, newborns do a lot of sleeping, eating, and pooping. And sleepers make a mom's life so much easier for the newborn stage. I can get my babies in and out of sleepers in the dark, literally with my eyes closed. And I cannot say the same for those really difficult pieces of clothing that are very cute, but are complicated. Something you gotta pull over a baby's head or find the little ties or snaps to or pull up over their bottom and have so many different pieces. And babies in the newborn stage grow so fast. They outgrow those clothes that are really cute, but oftentimes pretty expensive. They don't really make a difference to me whether they're zipped or snapped and I think that they are much better value for the money. Babies spend a lot of time just all bundled up anyway, wrapped up and swaddled. You're not even seeing what they're wearing. You're looking at their cute little face. Another thing that you don't need, something that I regret purchasing, are special Velcro or zip style swaddlers. And now all three of my kids in their newborn stage loved to be swaddled. It helped them sleep. It helped them to be nice and soothed and all comfy and cozy. But I realized that the Velcro swaddlers, the ones that help make it easy to like wrap the baby all in and then Velcro down and then keep them nice and tight, while they do do a good job for the purpose that they're intended, they are so expensive and they are one of those things that babies outgrow very fast. It's been my experience that you are much better off investing that same amount of money into a nice little collection of muslin swaddlers. Muslin swaddlers are one of those newborn must-have items for me. I have tried several different brands and there are a lot of good ones out there, but my favorite brand is the Aiden and Anai muslin swaddlers. So I still have some from back when the boys were newborns and I inherited some from my sister as some hand-me-downs. She gave me some girly print ones. And then Aiden and I reached out with a PR package. I got to select a couple of uh, different sets that I wanted. I could not pass up this classic Pooh Bear set. Oh my goodness, when I saw these, I was all over it. These are adorable. Also, I picked out these Silky Soft Swaddle Blankets, which is another line from Aiden and I, and these are just gorgeous and they are really easy to use. They take a little bit of practice to swaddle your baby versus those Velcro ones, but once you get the hang of it, these last so long. These are really large. These swaddle blankets are very large, and they work great for swaddling for a long time. One of my boys wanted to be swaddled until he was almost nine months old. The other boy, not so much. I have yet to see how long Haley wants to be swaddled, but when she is swaddled, 
It's one of these muslin swaddle blankets and she loves it. And I use these for a lot of other things. I use them for little play mats. I put them down on the ground outside for the baby. Tummy time is spent a lot of the times on these muslin swaddle blankets. And I use it as a nursing cover. So if I want to be a little bit more modest and cover up while I am nursing, I tie a knot in two of the edges and throw it over my head and it works so much better than one of those special made nursing covers, which I could throw in there with a little asterisk is one of my newborn regrets. I, you don't need those nursing covers. Get yourself some muslin swaddle blankets and you get a lot more bang for your buck. You're gonna hear me say that a lot in this video probably. Bang for your buck is something I totally go for. I want the most value for what I spend, especially when I'm a new mom. Another thing kind of along the same lines are receiving blankets. I believe you do not need these things. They don't work great for any of the purposes that they're intended for, in my opinion. If you're using them as swaddles, they don't last very long because they're much smaller than the swaddle blankets that I talked about before. And if you're using them as burp cloths, they're much less absorbent than another option. The other option is something that I swear by, a new word must have for me is pre-fold cloth diapers. Now we are total disposable diaper people. We've just chosen that. It's easier. It's more convenient. That's just how we need it to be. But we do buy a nice collection and they're very inexpensive. You can buy a big old pack of them on Amazon and they have a lot of use. So I use them for everything from having them be a mat under a baby while I'm changing a diaper in public or at home. I have used them, I you know, put them in my bra when I am starting to leak my milk and um, I need something to keep my clothes clean. I've used them as burp cloths. Um, I've used them to wipe my toddler's faces and I've actually used them as diapers in a pinch. If I have a clean pre-fold diaper with me, I will put it on my baby if I've not brought enough diapers with me, which has happened before. So definitely these are something that you just get so much mileage out of. And because they're not very fancy, they don't have some cutesy pattern on them. They're just pretty blase. I don't feel like I'm ruining something that's really nice and I can really use them for whatever I need them for. Okay, one of the things that I regret the most is buying a Mamaru. I wanted one of these things back when they first came out on the market when I was pregnant with my boys. They were so expensive back then. They're still expensive now, but they were so expensive back then. There was no way I could afford them. And so this time around, I budgeted for one and I regret buying it. Half the people on YouTube are gonna say they love it. Half the people on YouTube are gonna say that they hate it. Just don't think it is right for my babies. My babies in the newborn stage really want to be soothed. They like a nice, strong swing, rocking motion, and you just don't get that out of the Mamaru. It doesn't matter what setting I put this thing on. It was so mellow and so mild, and the baby just laid there and screamed. <laughs> And I have a very happy newborn. I have a very easily consolable newborn and she did not like the Mamaru. Now, the thing that I have discovered, I went back to it because it's what my boys loved and that is just a good old fashioned baby swing. But I took it a step further and I got the Graco Duet Connect swing. It's a two in one thing, so it is multi-purpose which I love. It has a bouncer in it with a vibration sort of feature. You can turn it on or off. And um, that bouncer attaches to the swing and then it becomes a swing. She loves both the swing and the bouncer. And it's really convenient because I can take it with me around the house. She can bounce while I'm editing videos. She can swing while we're all in the the house together. It works really, really well and she likes it so much better than the mama room. Another piece of baby furniture that I just did not like and I think is a total waste of money is one of those specially made bedside bassinets that claim to be a co-sleeper. Some people may really like it, but I just thought it was a glorified bassinet that didn't really make my baby feel like they were in the bed with me. Babies love to be in the bed with their parents. A lot of babies do. I had a arm's reach co-sleeper, which was very expensive. It was upwards of $400 for this thing. And it just did not work for my babies. They felt like they were separate from me. So it's like, what's the point of getting something that claims to be a co-sleeper if my babies feel isolated anyway? So I did a lot of research and I found something that helps you have a really safe 
co-sleeping environment, and that is a Docatot. And they actually sent me one in a PR package. I'm very grateful for it. And Haley loves this. Oh my goodness. And she feels like she's in bed with us, but it's a very safe way to have baby in bed with you and we follow all the guidelines and you know rules for using it the way it's supposed to be used and being very very safe with it but this is another one of those things that has so many different uses i can have it in our bed at night co-sleeping with her i have it out in the living room with me she'll lay on the floor on her Docatot while i'm folding laundry or watching tv she can be on my kitchen table while i'm you know, paying bills and that sort of a thing. I can take it outside and she can spend time with us outdoors while her brothers are running around and she's all cozy in her little docatot. It is so awesome. I love this thing. And I think if you're going to buy something at that price point, you're much better off going with this docatot than the Arms Reach Co-Sleeper hands down. It doesn't require assembly or disassembly. It's easy to move around. It's easy to clean. You can travel with it super easy. And the co-sleeper, oh my goodness, the assembly process for that thing was ridiculous. Here's another thing that YouTube mommies are divided over, and that is what to get for your child for bath time, namely the thing to bathe said child in. So I had a very generic plastic newborn bathtub for my boys. They hated it. It is hard molded plastic that's cold and uncomfortable and frankly difficult to store. It is such an odd shape. It's so awkward and big. We didn't even have a place to store it. It just kind of floated around our house and that is totally a waste. And it only lasted for the newborn stage. Once they were sitting up on their own, they didn't use it. We just sat them up in the bathtub or in the sink. Now the thing that I like way more, you're gonna hear people either hate this thing or love it, is the blooming bath. I received one of these things for my baby shower and I absolutely love this thing and so does my baby. It's plush, it's warm, and frankly, it's pretty easy to care for. The thing that people complain about this blooming bath is that you have to like hang it up to dry or if you don't dry it in time, it molds. If you are taking care of it immediately, I just run it under hot water in my sink after the bath is over and throw it in my dryer and tumble dry it and fold it up and put it in my closet. It's super easy to store and it's cute. It's really, really cute. And I think it's something that my baby will use way beyond the newborn stage. She could sit in there as a one-year-old baby in our sink and still really get a lot of use out of it. Okay, so my last newborn regret here is that thing, that special pacifier called a Wubba Nub. They're pretty cute and a lot of babies apparently really like them, but my baby just doesn't. So basically they are a stuffed animal attached to a soothy style pacifier and the stuffed animal just gets in the way. Uh, I really just prefer the soothy pacifier and a pacifier, a binky, is one of my newborn must-haves. My kids all love to suck <laughs> and when they're not sucking on me having breastfeeding time, they want to be sucking on something else. And so a pacifier for the newborn stage is great. So when they're laying in their swing or, you know, sucking on their pacifier anywhere else, their arms are flailing around and they always seem to like bump that little stuffed animal and pull it right out of their mouth. And then it makes them scream and cry. And then they're really sad and they need a pacifier and it's just kind of this vicious cycle. So the Wubba Nub is a hard pass for me. So as you can see, by the way, I make this list and you know what it seems like my priorities are. I really value items and products that either have a lot of purpose, like um, you can get different sort of uses out of them or things that are just gonna give you the most bang for your buck. So that's how I really like or dislike an item and that is how I formed this list for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and comment below what your newborn must-haves are and if there's anything that you regret purchasing. If you found this video helpful, would you please share it with a friend who's expecting or who is in the newborn stage herself? And if you are new here, please subscribe so I can see you back here for my other videos that I'm going to be coming out with. I am a breastfeeding mom and I have a breastfeeding must-haves video that I'm putting together. And if you want to see it, 
Make sure that you come back for it by subscribing and turning the channel notifications on. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you later.